Hi, I'm Dr. Rosenberger from Appalachian Spring Dermatology, and I'm doing a post um, COVID, although we're not that post, but sort of COVID touch up on my Botox. When COVID first happened, I said, well, my mask is covering up my face, so maybe I'll leave my Botox undone in my forehead and around my eyes so that people can see that I'm smiling since they can't see my smile. Uh, so I gave myself a little bit of Botox and then I decided I was way too vain for that that I needed way more because I don't like to wrinkle. So we're gonna do a touch up today and I'm just gonna show you, walk through with, a little, with you a little bit of what to look for when you're trying to decide, do I need a little bit more Botox or not? Um, so first just look at my forehead. My forehead I think is pretty good. Um, I can't frown very hard so these are your corrugator muscles that push the glabella, this area, to make what people call their 11s. So anyway that's pretty good. I can't move hardly at all there. My forehead is moving a little bit but that I actually like it that way. Um, some people don't like having these little lines here but the problem is if I get rid of those I'm going to drop my brow and I don't like my brow dropped. So my eyebrows are also a little bit crooked, so I'm always trying to make sure that my eyebrows are pretty level. So I always tell patients, look at your eyebrows at rest and then put them up and make sure. So this one's maybe a teensy little bit higher, but not enough to worry about. Okay, so what's bothering me today is these crow's feet. Um, more so on this side than this side, but got some crow's feet going on. And then this is the nasalis muscle. Sometimes people call those bunny lines. Um, so both of those are working more than I'd like. Um, and then we're also going to go over a separate little video on looking at the platysmal muscles. Um, so I already have some dots on my um, neck for that. So uh, we'll go through that. Um, while I'm working, I will. Um, give myself um, some grace and say that um, my next video is starting to work on my face. So it's September 2020. Um, had a long summer, six months summer with my kids. So um, we spent a lot of time outside and other people talk about gaining the COVID-19 pounds. I gave, gained the COVID-19,000 freckles. So if you're thinking my face looks way freckly, you are right. And we're gonna get rid of those ASAP. So anyway, uh, we'll talk about that later in a separate video. So for now, we're just gonna, I'm gonna hopefully demo for you, doing some Botox to myself. I do not recommend that anybody else do this to themselves. Okay, pinch here. Um, number one, I've been doing Botox to people for over 15 years. And I've been doing it to myself for quite a while as well mainly just because it's hard enough for me to find time to do it to myself let alone go somewhere to have it done so I empathize with y'all have to make an appointment to get Botox done I have it at my disposal every day and I don't have time to get it done all right pinch here so these though there's a little muscle right here so, try not to wince too much I'm trying to look tough All right, so that, oh, that one's gonna bleed a little, so I'm gonna hold it. So that should um, tweak up what's bugging me today. Um, we're also gonna look at the platysmal muscles. Can you see my neck in the video? Okay, so I've already put some marks um, where we're gonna work, and I'm holding this because I drew blood. So as I get older, I get much more patient. So both with myself and with other patients, if I notice I draw blood, I just stop and hold it. Um, that greatly reduces the likelihood that you'll get a little bruise there. Um, as you can probably see, there are little bumps. If you've never had Botox done before or seen Botox done before, those will be gone in just a few minutes. Um, so we'll move on to the platysmal muscles um, in another video, so stay tuned. Call for an appointment today and learn more by going to our website at wvderm.com.